Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about my new iPad guitar rig, but first let me give you a bit of context. A short while ago I joined my first band and I was having a little bit of trouble getting to, to our rehearsals with my amp, pedal board and guitar. My amp weighs 8 kilograms, my pedal board weighs 6, and then there's also the guitar, but even more than weight it's just about the discomfort of carrying especially the amp and I take public transport, so that was really wearing me down. For a while I tried using this little card that I bought specifically for this, but it just really wasn't comfortable and I still had to take, well it was even less comfortable carrying things up and down stairs and there were quite a lot of them on the tube. So as a solution I was thinking of getting a floor sim or modular unit and unfortunately that meant one of two things. Either I would uh, be spending about 500 pounds on something that I'd only be using kind of for practice and rehearsals but couldn't really use, maybe potentially live, but definitely not for recording tones, or I'd spend, you know, a thousand or probably a thousand six hundred kind of on the quad cortex, which I could use for everything, but that's quite a bit of money. So instead of doing all that, I decided to leverage my iPad, which I've had laying around for a while, and I knew that uh, Bias FX is available for iPad, and I've been using Bias FX on desktop for, for several years, and basically all I needed was a way to connect my guitar to the iPad, which meant I needed an interface and I couldn't use my uh, Scarlett 6 i6 which is the interface I've been using for years because number one I'd need to unhook it from my desk every time I went and also it needs to be plugged into a wall which is really annoying. Other than that I also needed a little MIDI foot switch or stomp box with which I could switch presets. Uh, in my band there isn't a lot of preset switching going on but there is some so I needed at least a couple of switches. Thankfully the absolute perfect gadget for this already exists and that is uh, the X-Tone by X-Sonic. What it is is basically an interface and foot switch in one. It has a nice robust all metal build with, uh, with nice foot switches and it really feels like it, you know, it can withstand being an actual stone box. It has an XLR out so you could plug into a mixing desk. It has an auxiliary out so that you could hook it up to your speakers at home for practice. It also has two quarter inch jacks for output in either mono or stereo and it has an expression pedal in. As well as that, it has a really, really handy and very stiff and robust um, volume knob over here. And speaking of the expression pedal, I also bought a really cheap expression pedal just to try it out, see if it works and how well it works. I think this one's like 21 pounds on Amazon. It's called Nectar and it actually works really, really well. I'm very pleased, especially considering the price. But yeah, essentially I wanted to do a quick demo of the setup and just share my experiences. So you can actually hook this interface up through a through a dongle so that you can be charging your iPad at the same time as using the interface, but uh, we're not gonna need to do that right now as my battery is pretty full. Oh, and speaking of dongles, I was actually really pleased if the packaging of this, inter like everything about this interface is so nice. Um, and I'm not just, I'm not like sponsored or anything, I'm just saying this as a genuine user. Um, but another nice thing is that they included this little dongle for, with a lightning connector. So if you connected this to your phone, it has a little lightning in so you could charge it as well as connect a USB thing which would be this interface. So that's really nice of them, they just included that in the package. So you don't have to get that yourself because I, I think that's quite necessary to have. So let's hook up this um, expression pedal as well just to have it ready. Oh and by the way with the expression pedal, uh, if you're having trouble making it work like I did for a long time, you have to if it's switchable between like two modes, like mine for example only works in mode two, there's like a little switch on the bottom of the pedal. So yeah, make sure that's uh, set right for you. Okay, cool, so we're hooked up now and uh, what, what I have set up right here is there's XLR going out of the X-Tone into my interface and it's being recorded in Reaper. In addition to that, I've got an on-camera microphone that's doing kind of the room recording up there and the sound to me is coming out of my pretty shitty uh, media speakers right here. So now let's jump into bias and try out some tones and if you haven't used bias before it's actually really really simple to get started. So top left here you have the tone cloud link and you can search for any artist uh, that you're interested in. For me I'm currently practicing some In Flames and Gojira so let's try to find some Gojira tones. Now for some reason on the iPad the first time you search it doesn't work so tap search again and this time it actually finds some presets and by the way this is uh, these are presets made by people so you can see that they have kind of like ratings once you find something that looks promising you can just tap it click preview and <laughs> it 
has a bit of lag, so it's a bit hard to play. But yeah, that way you can preview presets before you download them. But usefully, what you can also do is search for specific songs. So, for example, I want Stranded. And there we have Gojira Magmatone. Let's try that. Okay, that sounds promising. Uh, let's download that. Select a bank, downloaded, download. And it's that easy, you exit, you go to your banks, downloaded, and there is there is your preset. So if you're not used to bias effects, it's pretty self-explanatory, really, really easy to use. Very nice interface on the iPad as well, I think much better than, uh, than desktop. And in terms of MIDI switching, it's really, really easy to assign stuff. So for example, we've got the, the pitch shifting pedal here. You just uh, press and hold it until this MIDI assignment pop-up appears. And then you have the power toggle, you just press learn and you hit a switch. And there you go, it's assigned, done. But I also wanna assign the pedal of this pitch shifter, of course, so I hold it again. And we've got the pedal, pedal learn, and I just move the pedal. And if your pedal is set up correctly, it will learn whenever you move the pedal. And now you can see when I move the pedal with my foot, it also moves the, the pitch shifter. So unfortunately, there is uh, quite a bit of lag for some reason. And what's, what's worse is the fact that the pedal movement actually has a delayed effect. So for example, let me just, so, so I'm gonna press like a play note and press the pedal all the way down. See, it takes quite a while to reach its full level. And I think that's happening because of the screen recording that I'm doing, so that's uh, quite unfortunate. Okay, I've stopped screen recording now, so let's just try it again. Yeah, so that was definitely the cause. But anyway, let's try some other tunes. So yeah, that's zero tweaking, just instantly kind of getting that sound and if you do want to tweak things, it is quite simple. Let me actually turn on the screen recording. So yeah, really easy to tweak stuff over here, I think. Yeah, for example, you know, just reducing some bass over there. Yeah, it's really easy to experiment with and you've got so much control. I'm not gonna dive deep into this at all. You can watch, you know, a bias video. And by the way, the version that I have is the pro version, which has more than the standard, but less than the elite, I guess. But it has a good amount of amps and effects for sure for almost anything you wanna do. But anyway, let's just quickly try another preset. This time we can go for an in flames preset. Okay, zero likes, 12 likes, clay man. In flames style, 22 likes, let's see. Okay, the, the sound uh, doesn't sound too good to me, so I'll just show you instead one of my presets. So this is the kind of preset I generally use for practice and uh, rehearsals. And it's just a heavy rhythm tone uh, with the option of adding some delay and a boost for solos. So this is kind of the heavy tone. So I don't know how well that translated over the tubes of the U variety, but to me over here it definitely sounds really good and I think it's more than good enough for you know, practice and rehearsals and probably even good enough for the vast majority of gigs. The only thing to consider in terms of gigging with it is 
uh, the stability and reliability and you know so far I've been using this for countless hours for practice as well as for several uh, rehearsal sessions and it's never even come close to fail I mean it's never failed basically it's never had a single hiccup so it's pretty reliable but yeah I plan to make a couple more videos about this rig specifically I'm thinking about testing it being plugged into uh, the effects return of an amplifier so using the power amp of an amplifier and everything else uh, on the iPad simulated so basically you can take this rig and if you turn up at a venue where there's an amplifier that is not your amplifier or your amplifier is broken and you have this kind of a, as a backup you can just plug into any amplifier's power amp and uh, get your get your sounds or at least in theory so I want to test that and if my band gets any gigs lined up I also want to potentially tested in a live situation. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those. But anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.